Let's take a few minutes and look at this GeoGebra app. Here's the situation. We've got a unit circle here. That is the radius of the circle is 1. And we've built this triangle here. You can see the triangle. And we're going to examine the trig ratios. Now remember, for example, that the sine is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. But if we're on a unit circle, the hypotenuse is 1. So this opposite side really tells us the sine. So when we're at 26.57 degrees, then the opposite over the hypotenuse is going to be about a 0 0.45. So we can pull this point and just watch that opposite side, which is really telling us what the sine is. So if we move over here, then the sine is about, you can see the, the sine changing there. It's still positive over there. But if we move down into this third quadrant, then the sine becomes negative because the opposite side is a negative amount and the hypotenuse is always a positive one. So the sine is negative through there. You can watch the opposite side and see what it's doing. Okay. All right. Similarly with the cosine. Remember that a cosine is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. But if the hypotenuse is always 1, then the cosine is the length of the adjacent side. Or in other words, the cosine is the x value of this point, of point B. So you can see that the cosine is begins close to 1 and then it gets until it becomes 0 at 90 degrees and then the cosine becomes negative from there on until it's negative and gets to a negative 1 then it begins to get more positive until it gets to 0 and now the cosine way around here at 279.28 degrees then the cosine is about 0 0.16 and so on. Okay, so if we're worried about the tangent, the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So it's so it's really the opposite side, the the y value of this point divided by the x value of this point. Okay, so the tangent now, if you think about it, the tangent is really telling you the slope of this line because it's the rise over the run where this point is starting from here. That's an interesting connection. Okay, so the tangent is positive here because it's a positive amount divided by a positive amount. The tangent will be negative here because it's a positive amount divided by a negative amount, opposite over adjacent. Now notice something interesting. Right here, the tangent is undefined because the adjacent side is 0, would be dividing by 0. That's undefined. Okay, and so on over here, the tangent is going to be 1, because a uh, negative 1, I'm sorry, because the adjacent side is negative 1 and the hypotenuse is positive 1. Then we become down here. It's going to be undefined when we're at 270 degrees. Then it will get back to, to 1 again. Okay, so with the unit circle, the sine is really the y value of this point, the intersection of the, of the uh, terminal side with the unit circle and the uh, and the cosine is the x value of this point okay that's it